assalamu alaikum i'm back with another video and today i'll be telling you about uh, some um, enhancements on portal so uh, last time in my last video i have showed you about this uh, url uh, on clicking on which uh, this table is coming so today i'll be showing how this new button can be removed and how we can add filter here if you can see the filter is not added okay so these two thing i'll be showing you today so let's get started uh, there is one widget which this url definition widget if you open this okay so if you go here you can see that data that shown you is equals to true and uh, there is something known as sp dot get widget means we can call another widget from server script from this widget we can call another widget using sp dot get widget so currently i am using this uh, widget this is the id of the widget if you search with this one So it's the first one, I guess. See, this is the ID, and if you open the data table of the incident, this is also the out of the box uh, uh, data table widget. Script. Okay, yeah. Here uh, we can see that show new bool is equals to true to show the new record button. okay so what is happening the data okay the record the record value is going in this table data table okay so this is the data which is going in this widget okay not the record actually the whole uh, table okay so if you make this false okay so what it will happen see if i refresh uh there is no new button okay no one can create any record now from this portal now the next thing that i would like to add is filter okay uh, like over here i cannot filter anything which we usually do in our uh, table so if you see in the page which i have created last in the, my last video if i open this page open in designer edit so you can see here enable filter if i make this true okay and i save it is taking a lots of time on saving i think so it is saved now if i reload see this is the filter button which came okay 
now i can filter anything in every field i want now uh, if i know there are lots of question you people might be asking from that from where that enable filter come so if you go to not the data table but this one this widget you are a definition widget this one some there is something known as options schema which is present in every widget and uh, from that option we can take the value in my html or server or okay so okay here you can see that there is option schema okay and uh, you can see enable filter is here okay name is enable filter default value is false okay uh, and uh, default value if you make it true then it will always come how do we use the option uh, option value if if for example if you want uh, the if you are giving any color in the for example there is something known as bootstrap fields known as bootstrap color if you are giving danger i uh, means red color so uh, and if you want the value in the server side then you uh, then you can use options dot value or means options dot name uh, which is present in the option schema uh, that's it guys for today uh, thank you thanks for watching